Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Phantom again. It's been a while since we've covered um, a TA video on this. And if you're enjoying the videos on these, please just uh, let us know by smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button and leaving us some feedback down below. Let us know if you'd like to see these on a more regular basis or whether you're happy with the frequency that we're currently putting them out at. Okay, so let's get into the TA now. So there's a few things we need to talk about and for the most part we're going to just talk about the the diagonal quick so what we were tracking for was the potential that we could be looking for a diagonal structure here where we were looking for this as a um as a diagonal i seem to have lost my bottom line here for some reason but basically looking at something like this where we were getting a contracting diagonal here and we we're looking for the potential of having this C wave to the downside. So this still is possible and it is still possible that we could actually break down, but we need to talk about a few things that have happened here. We can see that we have managed to break back above this um, descending trend line here, but it's only just, and we haven't sort of, we've retested it once, but we haven't really moved away that much. So there's still potential for rejection. And really, until we break back above this high point here of this 2620, we need to be careful because there is potential for continuation to the downside. So that would be sort of um, an area that I'd be looking at. Okay, so I'm going to break this down now into the smaller into um, the smaller moves here. So there's another thing we need to talk about. We we're talking about this as a five wave move down, and we we're looking for this as a fourth wave to the upside. But we have come up here and crossed this um, this area here of this wave one with what we were looking for as a wave four. So this is effectively invalidated. So we are going to get rid of that one. There is, however, the um, argument that we can look at this move still like this, where we have this as a one, two, three, four, five into this low point. And with this structure at the bottom here, it's, um, it's a bit unclear as to what this move is. At the moment, we have two options. We can look at this as a corrective structure due to all the overlap and the... Um, and the structure within this first part is very corrective in nature. So we could be looking at just having an extended C wave here. And basically what we'd be looking for then is the potential that we could look for rejection within this box area that we've got here. So we can, we've already come into a 50% zone. And basically we could actually start to look to break down from here. Um, within this move, basically, we can count uh, a five wave move, which we'll go in a second. But... This is this zone here is a potential rejection zone and looking that would then look for this potentially to be a bigger five wave move uh, playing out. So this would sort of align with what we're expecting for for BTC and ETH. If you haven't checked those videos out, you might want to. Um, and then we're basically what we'd be looking for is this for confirmation of this move as a wave three would be looking to break down past this 1383 zone. So if we start to actually break down from this point, this would sort of be a target area we'd be keeping in mind. Though if, if we move it back above this 2620 zone, this would actually invalidate the potential of this additional breakdown um, as we have it shown here. So basically within this move um, from here, from this B wave bottom, I'm actually going to just move this down here. If I can get a hold of him. There we go. What we'd be looking at is the potential that we have. This is a one, two. This would be one, two, three, four, five. So this would be fourth wave and then we'd be looking at this as a fifth wave um which it's a bit unclear whether we still have uh, it's possible we've actually completed yeah but this could also be a fourth where we have um where we have one more little push to the upside so if we do have that additional push to the upside i just want to see something so that would be one two one two so we'd have to take wave one from here so we've come down and we've already hit that 50%. We really wouldn't want to go much lower than this. So if we do start to move to the upside here, potentially what we could be looking for is a move. Uh, yeah, sorry. A move to the upside from this point, potentially as a as a fifth wave, which could look to target out this zone here of this 0.23342 to the 02313 zone. So this could potentially be completed move within this where we'd be looking at this as a one, a two, a three, looking for that as a four, and then looking for that fifth wave to the upside. The structure in, within here is very overlapping, so it looks it doesn't look to be impulsive to the downside yet. Though if we do start to break down further and lose this low of this fourth fourth wave, oh, actually if we cross this this high point here of this 
2182 it would invalidate this um, fifth wave to the upside and we would have to look at this move uh, slightly different though for with this we'd also need to be mindful that if we're looking at this as a completed five wave move from this point what we would be looking for is we could actually still have potential for more upside and if this move is completed as a five wave from here we get it right on this b wave low up into this high we could actually still look for a um we could still look to find support between this 50 percent to this 0 0.2001 area here if we break down below this it would start to be, it would become more likely that actually what we've got what we're getting is this um third wave in progress though we would have to make sure we have correct structure in that journey and what we'd be looking for is that lower lows there However, there is a, a bullish way of looking at this as well, and we're going to go over that in a second. And what this would be, well, within this move, if we do look to complete the second wave, I'd be looking to potentially target out this 0 0.2320 if we haven't completed already, which would, would be a 0.618 retracement of this whole move to the downside. So this could be a little interesting area if we do move up a little bit more where we might look for that rejection. This, if it does play out as a wave three, should have quite a steep slope within it once it gets going, and there should be quite a lot of volume which comes in in that. If that if that fails to develop, then basically it will be an indication that we have something else going on. Okay, so what else could it be? So if I just switch this out here, we could be talking about we did when we um when we started this move to the downside. We talked about the potential that we could look to find support in this green box area and we did find support in there and we are moving away from it so there is still potential that we could see this breakout uh, this abc to the upside and what we would be looking for here potentially if we take it from this low point to this this point here so that one to one would be this 30 cents 35 so it is possible we could see some upside potential like this though we would need to break back above these high points here of this 25.59 and also this area here if I can if I just get on it of 26.20 we need to break back above them for this um for more sort of certainty that this is what's playing out because for as long as we stay below this we can always carry on extending to the downside and if we do move above this 3150 that would basically invalidate the potential of that um, diagonal shape that we were tracking so we're keeping an eye on this what we would what we could see here as well if we were looking for an even bigger breakout is potentially this could be a one two and then we could be forming another one two within this so we'll have to see how what um, how we react after after this move to the upside so the difference within this move is instead of looking at it as a corrective move we're looking at this first wave here as a potential wave one then what we'd be looking for is this as a wave two then we'd have this additional one two actually let me remove the the yellow count from here so look at this as a one two one two three four five for three this is a fourth and then we're within this white fifth wave so if we do complete or if we have completed here if we push up a little bit more it would obviously change this this target zone a little bit but for the most part, what we could be looking for here is um, an additional fifth wave to the upside. And what we'd be looking for within that is the potential that we could move down to this box area, which I have marked out here, which is this 0 0.236 to the 0 0.5 zone. This could then be a fourth wave retracement, in which case we would be looking for that fifth wave to push up from there. If we start to break down below this 2104 zone, it would become more unlikely that we're going to have this actual five wave move play out. But if it does play out, what we'd be looking for then is poten the potential to find support again. And basically, I'm just going to draw this box on here. So if we do potentially move up into this fifth wave location, what we'd then be looking for is that potential to find support again in this box area here. And I'm just going to change the color of this. So this, this could then basically, what we would be looking for is a move back to the downside. So this move to the downside should be a three wave move. And that they typically, if they're going to be a wave two would be a zigzag, but we'll have to see how it plays out. But effectively what we'd then be looking at is this move to the upside would all become a wave, potentially a wave one or an A. 
and then this would be a B, and then we'd look for that C or wave 3, depending on which structure we have here. So it is possible that we could be looking for a breakout, but the breakout relies on holding this uh, 1902 zone. Losing this 1902 would actually invalidate this, and would make me believe that we are rather heading to the downside here. So those are the things that I'm watching out for. Um, like I said, we could have a little bit more in this fifth wave, after that, we'd be looking for this as a as a fourth wave retracement and a fifth wave to the upside. Um, if we if we're looking at this option, alternatively, this could look to complete with this wide fifth wave and start to break down. So the important thing would be whether we manage to find support in this green box area here, twenty two oh four to twenty one oh four, or whether we break down further, take out these low points, and then that would indicate we have a completed move here, and this would have to be a 1, 2, or an A, B, and then we'd be looking for that C wave to the downside. So that's what we're going to be keeping an eye on. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and why not leave us some feedback down below in the comments section. In the description below, you will find a link to the Discord. Why not come and have a chat with us? Also in the link below, there's an affiliate link for Bybit. Really is a great exchange. It's the one we use when we're doing all our trades. Uh, it has great risk management tools uh, within it. So it helps you to sort of plan your trades. So you get, um, so, so you're just more in control of it. I really do like the platform. Okay, with all that said and done, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend, everybody. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care out there.